Hello and welcome to a video review for the Robots in Disguise build team. Kind of. The reason I say kind of is because, well, this is actually the Car Robots version. You know, from Japan. Um, I believe in the Car Robots release, um, this was known as Build Boy, Build Clone, Build Kane, and Build Typhoon. Yeah, it took me forever to learn that, and it's not really easy for me to remember. But, the American names, uh, this guy was Wedge, Hightower, Grimlock, and Heavy Load. Now, these are some really, really, really cool figures. Um, we'll take a look at these guys one by one. Get the other three back. So we'll start with uh, Wedge. He's an orange bulldozer. Um, he's got gray treads, uh, and he's got wheels at the bottom, so he can roll. Um, he's got an Autobot symbol on top of his canopy. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, the shovel doesn't move, but shovel bucket. The bucket doesn't move, but. Oh well. So, what you want to do to transform this guy is you're going to want to separate the bucket and fold it back. And you're also going to want to remove this piece, set it aside. Um, separate the treads and bring them forward. It's on this double hinge back here. Then you pull the rear of the treads back to free the arm so you can rotate it forward. Try it up, turn the arm forward, give it a little bend. Then you're going to want to open up the knee pads and fold the legs down and around. Flip the feet up. Then open up his back and flip the head out. And there we go. We have Wedge. Um, he's the size of a scout. Actually, he kind of looks like an old G1 minibot. I mean, look at that head. He's got kind of a minibot head going on. Uh, what was his name? Braun. He kind of reminds me of a a mix between G1 Brawn and uh, G1 Bone Crusher. Um, articulation, head can go all the way around. Shoulders are on ball joints, can go in and out. Bend at the elbow, turn at the elbow. Legs can go forward and back, go out, bend at the knee, turn at the knee. A little foot action, and he's got some. Uh, waist rotation but if you pull this piece down which I think you're supposed to do actually <laughs> whoops but yeah pull this piece down and you got full waist rotation action now back to this piece um, it was like this but you can flip these forward to be uh, the barrels and we have a peg right here put peg in his fist and he's got a very nice uh, double blaster yeah again he's a little on the short side um, but he's the leader of the build team so he can be however tall he wants that is Wedge Hightower he is a uh, red crane um, the turret doesn't really rotate because it's pegged all the way down, but the arm can move up and down, so. He also rolls. 
and underneath he's got these uh, little ballasts that you can flip down. But really, there's no point. But it is, it is a nice piece of detail if you want to use them. It's there, so... Yeah. Transform them. Pull this whole thing off. Um, grab the rear of it and extend it. Flip out his feet. And flip down his heels. Uh, bring his arms out and shoulders forward. And you might notice he's headless. Well, actually, his head's right here. No, really. Now we have a peg here. We have a hole right there. Put the peg in the hole. And as you can see, uh, we have this hole, and it's going to go right over this hinge. So. Uh, there's something wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the joint's just stiff. Or is it crooked? I don't know. Oh, yeah, the joint was just stiff. That's it. So, yeah. Fold it down and turn his head around. So, yeah. It's got kind of a generic look going on, but it's all good. Articulation for him. Head goes all the way around. Shoulders. Uh, they can go back to there. Um, Bend at the elbow, turn at the elbow, uh, legs go forward and back, and go out to there, and they can bend at the knee. Um, it's got a few extra joints going on. Um, it's got two weapons. Um, let me take that off. Um, inside the canopy, he has this little uh, pistol, but really, it's just so small and dinky and... Ugh, man. That is weak. Weak. So, yeah. Put that back in there. Put that back. Um, this thing, on the other hand, um, you pull out this really large barrel and get yourself a nice rifle. Huge. I mean, just look at it. Look at it. I mean, damn. <laughs> so, yeah. It's pretty much high tower. Um. Yeah. He's pretty cool. I like him. Pretty cool. Now, heavy load. Um. He shares a similar transformation and body to Hightower, um, but he is heavily remolded. Um, he turns into a dump truck, and this bucket back here can dump. Dump, 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 dump. Don't ask me what that song is. I have no idea. Um, yeah. Now, there are a couple differences, like most notably uh, Heavy Load's head is actually connected to his body and of course while they share the same transformation it goes in a different order for heavy load because of how heavy his remolding is um, but let's get him transformed um, first things first you want to take this off and you don't want to rotate this back um, then you're going to want to twist the arms out and then you're going to want to at least try to extend this. Um, some of the extra joints are uh, looser than the sliding joints. Oh, man. Ah, come on. Ah, 
There we go. Sliding joints are pretty stiff. Bring his feet up. Bring his heels down. Straighten out his arms and bring them forward. Fold that piece back. Uh, turn the canopy around. Open the canopy roof. Flip his head back. Ah, oh. jeez. Oh, yeah. Extra joints. They're a hassle. I notice that this one in particular is really loose. It's ridiculous. But it is what it is. Now, the dump, bed, bucket, it becomes a sort of claw weapon in this mode. Um, Kinda of goofy, but hey, at least he's got something. Yeah, there's that. Now Grimlock, um he's not the Dinobot that we all know and love him as, so <laughs> I have a tendency to call this guy Lock Grim. Uh but you and I both know that this is not this character's name. He's named after our beloved Dinobot, so let's just call him Grimlock and call it a day, make things easier. Um, he kind of looks like G1 Scavenger with uh, all the green and the fact that he tr transforms into this steam shovel excavator. Um, he can bend at this uh, shoulder joint in the arm. Um, this elbow joint right here can bend, and the bucket is on its own separate joint. Um, he's also got, uh, wheels under his treads. He does roll. And this whole assembly can rotate. So, yeah. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah. Not about symbol. Pretty cool. Now, to get this guy into robot mode, um, this transformation's a little awkward, but trust me, it's well worth it. So first things first, you want to free up the legs, like that. You also want to get this piece out of the way. Oh, man. Oh. Well, that's about as good as I'm going to get. Turn this whole piece back so we can see what we're doing. Bring all these joints down, like that. There. Extend the lower leg and twist it forward. Open up these heels and bring the foot down. Like that. Oops. Open these and flip his head back. Then separate these. They'll be the arms. Bring them out. Like that. Bring his claws out. Yes, his claws. He doesn't have normal hands, but that's okay. Bring his claws out. And that is Grimlock. He totally looks like Scavenger, I think. He looks nothing like Grimlock. He looks like Scavenger. Scavenger! Yeah. I've seen uh, custom uh, Devastator figurines, and they used this mold as Scavenger. Um, makes sense. Now... You might see this gray piece in there. Um, you can actually fold that out, and it becomes a spring-loaded attack claw. Pretty nice. Um, as you can see, we got a peg here. Um, they were originally pegged here, but 
uh, in robot mode, we got three different screw holes that that pig can fit into. I like to plug it onto his right shoulder. Uh, kind of looks like a scorpion tail of sorts. Um, articulation for him. His head goes all the way around. The arms can uh, go forward and back. The arms, they're on ball joints here so they can bend and rotate. Then there's a hinge joint here. And of course, the claws are hinged. Um, legs can go forward and back. They can kind of go in and out, but it's a little awkward looking. Um, they can bend at the knee, churn at the knee. A uh, little foot action, but not much. Um, yeah. He's a little awkward, but, you know, that's okay. And this is my only gripe with this figure. Um, and this figure is the only one of this set that I actually have a problem with. Um, oh wait, scratch that. Uh, Wedge also has a problem too. Uh, he doesn't have much in the way of heels, and if you don't position him right, he'll have a tendency to fall back. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, still, uh, these guys are from the Robots in Disguise line, and that was in 2001. For figures this old, these have quite a bit of play value. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, now, you may notice that there are four of these guys, and they're the build team. Now, you would think, uh, maybe they're all just partners. Some of you may be saying, Er, they combine! Well, whoever's saying that they combine, you are correct. The four of these guys can combine. Um, and this is different because most combiners only uh, combine when there's five people. Um, this combiner group has four members. Most combiner groups have five members, like uh, like Manasaur here. He has five components. Uh, these guys, there are four members here, but they combine, and the combined forms are pretty cool. Um, Wedge here uh, is the chest piece and head, but these three, they can become either the arms or a leg. Um, like I can show you a bit what a bit of what I mean. Like, uh, since uh, I was having trouble with uh, heavy loads, extra joints, I'll show you what. Uh, his arms mode looks like. Yes, arms mode. So, fold these out of the way. Uh, put his head away. Uh, like that. And then this whole section splits open like this. And these would. Uh, bend like that to form a claw, um, and this piece would flip down to be the combination joint, um, but really I don't like this arm configuration, I think it's kind of goofy. I prefer heavy load as a leg, so, but you do have options, you do have options. So I'm going to return him and Hightower Mostly back to vehicle form. Um, the reason I'm not showing you on high tower is because, well, it's the same transformation for uh, his arms mode, so. Yeah, there's really no point in going through all that again. Um, Now you may have noticed, I actually folded the feet up instead of back down. Well, it's because uh, the combined form actually stands on this part, so... Yep. <sighs> Bring this joint out. And 
bend it down like that. Ah, and he's ready to go. Now we'll take Hightower, turn his head around, and back. Take that piece off. We're gonna return him to vehicle mode, mostly, with the exception of the feet, which we are going to fold back. So, pull that back like that. Squeeze all this into place. Bring this joint out. Like that. Um, and if you want, like I do, uh, you can reattach it. Um, we have two holes here to choose from. Um, I choose back here for vehicle mode, but for combined form, I like to peg it in up here. Um, so, yeah, you can do that. And you may notice that there's a peg here, but it's not just any sort of peg, it's a mushroom peg. And the slot here is a mushroom slide, so you have to slide it in instead of just pushing it in. And you can see it already starting to take shape. So far so good. Now for Grimlock, um, what I like to do is I like to fold his head back like that. Um, fold his claws in. Um, Actually, I think it's supposed to be like that. Kind of collapse his arm and fold it back. Uh, turn the joints like this. And this piece, I want to straighten it back to how it was in vehicle form, but fold this part down. Turn the lower legs around. Uh, you're going to want to extend the ankle because you fold the heels in slightly, bring the toe down, and then extend it. And that's going to form a claw. Um, and we have the same system as down below. And this is a really ingenious design. Um, because if you may notice, uh, we have this triangular, um, hole here, and if you remember on Wedge, we have this, um, round peg with, uh, uh, a couple excess pegs sticking out, and it actually matches up with this whole system. And, you know, it's really ingenious. Um, get Wedge ready. Um, put his arms back to the way they were in uh, bulldozer mode, but leave them out to the side like this. Also, fold in his regular robot head back. And put the feet back to how they were in vehicle form. Like that. Now you're going to want to fold it back to being like that. And peg it in right there. Now, you may notice that Wedge's peg has the um, the center point facing upward, and on this part, it's facing downward. Well, it's ingenious because you plug it in sideways. Uh, if I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you put it in sideways, and then it twists up to lock. And of course, there was a peg on Grimlock, and a hole on the back of Wedge, put the peg in the hole, and it holds. And now, for the piece de resistance, you open up the canopy and flip the combiner head back, 
And there you have Landfill. Um, I think they called him Build King in uh, the Car Robots release, but I like the name Landfill better. And he's a cool looking guy. I like him. Now, he does have the three weapons from uh, the limb components. Like, we have High Towers Blaster, which we'll go ahead and peg into the right hand. Um, we have um, the Dump Truck Bed Bucket from Heavy Load, which pegs into the underside of uh, his forearm. And we also have Grimlock's Capture Claw! Oops. Ah, there we go. So, yeah. Now, he can hold it if you like. It's just a matter of uh, putting the peg into the claw. And there you go. But if you don't want him to wield it as a weapon, uh, Grimlock's head has one of the screw holes that we saw before. You can peg this into the back of Grimlock's head and have it stored like that. Or you can have it curved around his shoulder, however you want to pose him. As MGO316 would say, it's your toy, display it how you wish. Yeah, I really like that. I give MGO a big thumbs up for that. Um, so yeah. Pretty cool. Now, he does have other configurations. Um, like, you could bring High Tower over to be the arms, or Heavy Load to be the arms, and have Grimlock as a leg. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole process, but, you know. It's there if you want to do it. Yeah. So, let's go over articulation. Head goes all the way around. Uh, the arms can go forward and back. They can go in and out. Bend at the elbow. Churn at the elbow. Uh, you can open and close the claws. I mean, they're... They're just Grimlock's feet. Uh, the legs, uh, they can move forward and back. They can go in and out. <laughs> they can turn out the upper part of the thigh. And they can bend at the knee. <sighs> so, yeah. You can actually get a number of poses out of this combiner. Um, <laughs> that looks a bit goofy, but hey, you can do it. You can do it. He has the joints for it. <sighs> now, I love these figures. They're pretty cool. Uh, are they the best combiner? I would think so. I mean... This combiner is unique. Like, most combiners are made up of five individual robots. This one is only made up by four, yet it's still... There's still a lot of play value. There's probably more play value in this combiner as opposed to some of the others. Maybe some of the G1 guys. Um, I definitely know that there's more play value than with this than uh, with uh, the G1 Devastator. Um, who I do not have, but as you saw earlier, I have the Combiner Wars Menasaur, um, who towers over him. Actually, Menasaur is about twice landfill size. Uh, here he is next to Megatron. Um, yep. <laughs> Um, 
I think he's made up of mostly deluxes, but in combined form he grows to be the size of a Voyager. Maybe an Ultra. But yeah. Overall, um, this is a nice combiner set. I like it. Um, is it perfect? No, but you know what? For what it is, it's excellent. Um, would I recommend you pick these figures up? Absolutely. Even if it's just one figure out of all four, they're all pretty awesome. Um, Wedge and Hightower are my favorites. Um, but the entire set is awesome on a whole. Um, yes, it does have some problems. But you know what? Most combiners do, so I'm not going to knock it too much. Uh, so overall, I'm probably going to give this set... Uh, let's see. I give Grimlock and Heavy Load an 8 out of 10. I give Wedge and Hightower a 9 out of 10. Um, overall, I'm going to give this entire set an 8.5 out of 10. I recommend these guys. You should totally get them if you see them at a collectible shop or lurking around eBay or Amazon or whatever. They're totally worth it. I love these guys. They're totally awesome. So, until next time, guys. Thank you for watching.